Hello students, welcome to my English class. Today we'll be seeing figures of speech. Okay. It is uh, one of the very important topics for your board exam. And we see figures of speech in all literary works, in poetry, mostly in poetry, but also in prose. Okay, so first we'll see what are figures of speech. So, a figure of speech is a word or a phrase using figurative language, language that has other meaning than its normal definition. It is used in a non literal way to create an effect. Figures of speech make up a huge portion of the English language, making it more creative, more expressive and just more interesting so to make the literature more appealing to the readers making it more beautiful in words they use this figurative language called as figures of speech okay and they are not they are non literal means they are not literal means exact meaning of what it is Okay, the words will be something, the literal meaning, the exact meaning of that word is something, but the figurative meaning will be something entirely different. Okay, so for us, we uh, have to learn these figures of speech which are mentioned here, eight of them. There are more than 100 figures of speech. Okay, so we will be seeing only these four, these eight. And we will be seeing the first four in this part and the second, uh, the second four of them in the next part. Okay. They are simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, synecdoche, transferred epithet, alliteration and idioms. We will be seeing it in the same order. So, the first one is simile which is the easiest of them all okay very easy to recognize what is what is a simile a simile is a figure of speech that compares two different or dissimilar things using like or as it helps describe one thing by comparing it to an other so simile is one figure of speech where two things are compared Okay, those two things are not related to each other. They are very, very different from each other, but still they are compared. What are the two words used for comparing? Like and as. So, in a sentence where there is comparison and li uh, like or as are used, you can very well know that it is a simile. So, we will see some basic examples. The king was as mighty as a lion. So, there are two things being compared here. The king is being compared to a lion. So, they have used the word as and as. As mighty as. So, the lion is usually referred to as a mighty animal, strong animal. So, this king is being compared to a lion. So, this is a simile. Life is like riding a bicycle. So, here life is compared to a bicycle. And the word like is used here. The classroom was like a zoo. So, maybe the classroom was in utter chaos. Lot of uh, noise was being made by the students. So, they are comparing the classroom to a zoo. Okay. Her tears flowed down her cheeks like a river. The tears flowing down from her cheek, the, those drops of tears which make a line on the cheeks, those tiny bit of uh, tears are compared to the river. Okay. So, these are simple examples of simile. We will see more examples. She danced like a peacock. So, by now you will 
where you will be able to recognize a simile isn't it here she is compared to a peacock the stormy ocean was like a raging bull the ocean when uh, the ocean is very very stormy when there's lot of storm it's not very uh, calm the ocean it's very scary isn't it so that is compared to a raging bull the moon is like a white balloon a full moon it looks very beautiful no so that white full moon is compared to a white balloon the lake was calm like a mirror the internet is like a window to the world he runs like a horse he eats like a pig she was as cool as a cucumber under pressure i turned as white as a ghost when you jumped out at me so these are similes easy isn't it similes are easy right so next one is metaphor what are metaphors metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison here the comparison is more indirect metaphor states that one thing is another it equates two things not because they are actually the same but for the sake of comparison or symbolism simile and metaphor are uh, in a way you can say they are almost same figures of speech because they compare two things but the difference between metaphor and simile is simile directly compares something it says the king is like a lion she dances like a peacock but metaphor doesn't compare like that she says metaphor says this one is this one okay the, it indirectly compares but it doesn't say use the words and it doesn't make it very direct like the simile okay see her tears we are using the same sentences as we used for simile okay so that it will be easy for you all to understand there we saw her tears were like a river okay where the, the her tears flowed like a river but here her tears were a river flowing down her cheeks we are not telling where well, they flowing they were flowing like a river they are telling they are a river her tears are rivers river it is a river okay that is the difference between metaphor and simile otherwise the the work they do is the same they compare two things but how they compare is different the classroom was a zoo here metaphor says it was a zoo classroom is a zoo but in simile we say classroom was like a zoo she is a peacock there we saw she danced like a peacock here they are telling she is a peacock the king was a mighty lion so now um, at least you get a basic idea of how to identify a metaphor don't you we'll see more examples the st the stormy ocean was a raging bull the moon is a white balloon the calm lake was a mirror the child is a bear when he is sleepy the dancer was a graceful eagle taking flight the cake is heaven you are my sunshine the book was an addiction i couldn't put it down so the book is an addiction you are sunshine okay so these are metaphors so next the third one is personification it is a literary device where you give animal or object qualities that only a human can have 
writers and poets use personification to bring non human things to life poets love personification most poems um use this figures of figure of speech and it is also lovely to read personification in a poem okay it's really a wonderful figure of speech it, it is my favorite that means here they say non human objects or incidents or events um even animals they are given the qualities of a human being uh like the actions which humans are performed are told in the poem as if the non uh, living creatures or non living things or animals are performing okay see now we can see here lightning danced across the sky lightning is not a human who dances maybe peacocks will dance but otherwise humans dance right so here who is dancing lightning is dancing so this is a personification this is how you have to identify a personification lightning danced across the sky the wind howled in the night who howls maybe dogs or wolves howl okay humans also howl sometimes if a baby cries some babies cries are compared to howling oo that sound oo is a howl so here who is howling wind is howling rita heard the last piece of cake calling her name here cake is calling out rita's name okay so this can a real cake call out somebody's name no so this is a personification the car complained as the key was roughly turned in its ignition the car is complaining okay the moon played hide and seek with the clouds so the moon is playing hide and seek so it is a personification more examples my alarm clock yells at me to get out of bed every morning so the alarm clock is shouting screaming scolding okay cactus saluted those who drove past cactus also as you know is a thorny plant which which uh, is seen mostly in the desert place so that cactus is saluting so in a uh, saluting everyone who is driving past the wild fire ran through the forest at an amazing speed the moon smiled so moon is smiling the leaves waved in the wind leaves are waving like this time flies when you are having fun she did not realize that opportunity was knocking at her door this is a very common phrase uh, used figuratively opportunity knocks opportunity is an abstract noun isn't it you can't even see but here it's coming and knocking at your door it is definitely a personification the river swallowed the earth as the water continued to rise higher and higher so the river is swallowing the earth swallowing thunder grumbled like an old man thunder is grumbling the moon winked at me through the clouds above so the moon is winking moon is winking it is smiling alarm clock is yelling leaves are waving time is flying all these are wonderful personifications hyperbole the next one is hyperbole it is a statement which has been exaggerated it is used to overstate a situation and it is not intended to be taken literally hyperboles are not comparisons like similes and metaphors but extravagant and even ridiculous overstatements not meant to be taken literally in literature hyperbole will often be used to show contrast or catch the reader's attention so it is like some phrases i think if you see an example you will come to know 
they will exaggerate just blow it out of proportion just to make the point or to get the catch the or uh, um, attract the readers attention i've told you to clean your room a million times usually mothers tell the statement to their children to clean their room do they really tell it million times no maybe they would have told 10 maximum 50 times but they they use this phrase a million times so that is an hyperbole next if anybody talks like this you will immediately you can make out oh this is a hyperbole it was so cold i saw polar bears wearing hats and jackets do we ever see polar bears wearing hats and jackets no so just to say it was cold we are exaggerating it just to make the make the point very very clear i am so hungry i could eat a horse that means i can eat something so huge i am so hungry i have a million things to do today when i was young i had to walk 15 miles to school uphill in the snow maybe they would have walked 1 or 2 kilometers definitely not up the hill and definitely not in snow just to uh maybe um, just to show off that they worked very hard maybe some parents also used this to their children he is as skinny as a toothpick can anybody be as skinny as a toothpick no right the car went faster than the light of speed his new car cost a bazillion dollars we are so poor we don't have two cents to rub together two cents are the coins 100th of a dollar is a cent so we don't even have two coins to rub together yeah so poor that joke so old the last time i heard it i was riding a dino dinosaur so dinosaurs existed millions of years ago just to say that the joke was old we are we are using this metaphor they ran like greased lightning he's got tons of money he could have knocked me over with a feather that means i was so tired even if he had used a feather and touched me i would have fallen so this is hyperbole so these four figures of speech i think you uh, would be quite clear by now and if any sentence is given in uh, regarding these four metaphor these four figures of speech i'm sure you will definitely be able to identify them so we have come to the end of part 1 i'll see you all in the next part okay bye